Welcome, dear viewers. Uh, welcome to another one of my show and tells. My name is Peter. Um, I make show and tells for um, the uh, the ordinary watch interested person um, who might want to hear a little bit about a watch before uh, they decide to buy it. Okay. Well, um, today we will be having a look at the Seiko Solar Chronograph, which has the number SSC243P1. So, uh, before we talk about this watch, let's have some stats on it. Um, okay, it has a stainless steel case, stainless steel bracelet, uh, solar powered. It has the, uh, the, the caliber, the movement, the Psycho V175. Uh, it has hardex crystal, a white dial, um, chronograph function, bezel with minute scale, obviously the, the oops, the dive type bezel here. Um, luminous hands and markers, um, it has a stopwatch function, folding clasp with push button release, uh, it has a screwed case back, there you are. Uh, it has a water resistance of 100 meters, the approximate case width is 44.7 meters, approximate case thickness is 13 millimeters. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Yeah, first of all, I'd like to say this is not a dive watch. This is, uh, as I mentioned before, it is a, uh, it's depth rated to, um, to 100 meters and not 200 meters. So it's not part of uh, Seiko's uh, dive line. And therefore it does not have the famous, famous um, tsunami on the back. Um, but when that has been said, as I've mentioned before in other show and tells, uh, you know, a watch that uh, is 100 meter water resistant, you know, is, 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 you know, excellent for diving. You know, most sports divers don't go past 70 meters, 75 meters. Um, anything past that, and, and, and you're in serious depth. Um, and, uh, and and this this could, you know, this could, it's, it's fine for a dive to, to 42 meters or something like that. Um, and fine, and, and it has the dive function. So, you know, you can you could easily use this for diving. Uh, no, no worries there. Um... But that being said, it is still it's not a member of, of, of Seiko's um, of Seiko's dive line. Um, it's a large watch. Uh, let's put it on my wrist to have a look. I haven't sized this watch, so um, I just have to have a look at it like 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 so. Yeah, it, it is it is a large watch. Um, it's a large and, and handsome watch. I I, I will say that. I do find that, that, I mean, this is a beautiful watch. It looks good. Uh, it's, it's well made. It has a, a beautiful sound when you do like this, when you turn the bezel. Very tight and very nice. Not too tight, not too loose, and you know, just feels very, very well made. I, I will say that, that when one has this watch in, in one's hand and looks at it, it does there is a sort of a feeling that it that it lacks the ruggedness that that other Seiko uh, di divers have. I mean, let's have a look at the SKX series here. You can see how large the watch is compared to the SKX, but it just it it, it um, I think the probably the word that springs to mind when I when I see this watch is a sort of a cafe diver. Yeah, you know, it's um, it is there. There is nothing you know wrong with that. And uh, and this is certainly a watch that would be uh, good for people who um, who do water sports of any kind, you know, uh, jet skis, uh, paragliding, all kinds of things. You know, this is a perfect watch for that. No need to go out and buy a, an, an expensive diver for that. Um, but it does it does. You know, I have um, I've reviewed a lot of Seiko's uh, dive line, and it and this just sort of you know when I say it lacks the ruggedness of, I'm not saying that it's not built as well as, because it is, uh, it just, you know, the whole look of it, the whole design of it just shouts um, cafe diving, you know, sort of, a, yeah, it, it, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's hard to explain. Um, and, you know, I'm trying to explain, I'm not showing I'm getting, I'm getting the message, of course, but it does, it, it does, it does, in my book, lack the ruggedness in the, in the design of the, um, of the, uh, of the psycho diver. so so I'm not this this definitely does not shout you know um, no 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 bullshit uh, 
you know, a tool watch in no way. It, 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 more, it more speaks to me as a form of a cafe diver, as I said before. And, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, uh, that's, you know, it's, it's not a bad thing. Um, and this watch is extremely well made. It's, and it's, uh, it's a beautiful watch. Um, you know, the whole, the whole, um, the whole dial is, um, is, um, these, uh, solar, solar, um, oh dear, I forgot the name for it. Solar receptors, or what one would call them, you know. So the whole dial picks up the sunlight, um, and is a, you know, and the uh, the caliber we, um, V one seven five is an extremely effective caliber. Um, so I mean, you know, you're looking at a watch, you you don't need to do anything, you know, just wear it, and and you know, it, and it'll take care of itself. Um, the um, the bracelet, very well made. You know, typical uh, Seiko style bracelet, uh, and um, again, you know, uh, the um, the clasp doesn't have the Seiko safety clasp of uh, of uh, ordinary, you know, of other divers. Again, a difference between this watch and, and the dive line watch in Seiko. Um, but. That being said, it's going to be pretty hard to pry it open, but it it just it doesn't have that extra clasp that goes down and secures it. Um, but but you know it's uh, well this this feels pretty difficult. I mean, I wouldn't be able to pry this open uh, without pressing the buttons there. So um, so that's you know that's uh, that's another difference. But the uh, the bracelet feels it's not tinny in any way. It feels very nice, very strong well made again obviously you know it's uh, it's Seiko so um the design um well i like the design uh it, it's it's a catchy watch uh it has a ceramic bezel which is nice and shiny and so on and it, uh but then again leads me over to the uh to the cafe sort of look this watch has um so would i buy this watch um yes i would yeah, I would, I would, I would buy it, um, and I would wear it. Uh, it's 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 a nice, good-looking watch, um, but this probably wouldn't, you know, turn out to be one of my favourite watches, um, because I, I I love Seiko and 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 I and I collect these watches. Um, I would buy this watch, um, but my heart does lie does uh, you know lie with with dive watches and. Uh, and in that perspective, this one falls a little short. But then again, this wasn't built to be a dive watch. Um, and, you know, somebody might review this watch who isn't a diver and say, you know, this is exactly what people need for a watch, except, uh, you know, the 0.1% the of the world's uh, population actually go diving, um, would, would need to buy another one. All you others should buy this. Um, and, and they would be right. Uh, it's, um, yeah. Anyway, I don't think I have anything else to say about this watch. Uh, all in all, all in all, pleasing watch. Not quite a diver. Lacks the ruggedness of a diver, in my book. Um, but 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 my judgment of this watch is, uh, it, it's it's um, it's it's a, it's a beautiful watch and well made and you know it, it's uh, it's it has psycho it's Seiko quality, um, and uh, definitely worth the bucks. Okay, well thanks a lot, guys, and. Um, if you like what I do, uh, please, um, you know, like and subscribe, share my videos anywhere that you think that they might be um, relevant, and um, yeah, and then catch me on my next show and tell. Thanks a lot, and bye-bye.